the WWE could potentially be facing more problems than just lack of ratings and low viewership and, quite frankly, attendance rate. Welcome to another edition of The Brash. Show and video. Make sure to share, subscribe, smash that bell next to the subscribe button. Share my videos all over Facebook and Twitter. Backstage, huge news and no on Jinder Mahal's segment on SmackDown. Was it controversial? Is there conflict? Is there controversy? Well, ladies and gentlemen, is Jinder Mahal going to turn into a second-rate Muhammad Hassan from 2005 when The Undertaker was the one that wrote off Muhammad Hassan in 2005 due to the angle. Was there any, any racial profiling in that? Is this any racial profiling in the Jinder Mahal segment? There's a lot of media reports. There's a lot of news picking this up, and I think it's over dramatic. I think it's a little bit over the top because now this is going to force the WWE to ultimately come. Forget about the Attitude Era. F forget about PG-13. Forget about even PG. We're going to go to Rated G. We're going to get Disney-like content viewers and subscribers. That's what's going to become a WWE. Promos are going to be even worse, are going to be more scripted, are going to be overly manipulated, are going to be overly orchestrated. No, I, I, If anything, Muhammad, Muhammad Hassan and Jinder Mahal... Don't even peel in comparison to the likes of an Iron Sheik to a to, to promos of Bobby the Brain Heenan and Classy the Freddie Blassie. You know, superstars and characters of that nature is the WWE set to cancel the character off because they don't want to face the backlash, quite frankly. And you know what? This is not Jinder Mahal's fault. I mean, the powers that be, I mean, you know, they get bullet points. You know, the powers that be are the ones that script and write these promos. Or maybe a Vince McMahon, maybe a Triple H, whoever is in, in charge of SmackDown Live. And now Jinder Mahal may face the repercussions because his character, and he may not only be canceled, but he may be forced to relinquish or lose the WWE title a lot sooner than anticipated because of the controversial remarks he made on SmackDown Live. Now, whoever was directing this, whoever was in charge of this, they should have known that, you know, something like this was, was going to happen. But once again, these news outlets, these media outlets, they they scrutinize, they, they overdo it. it. It, I mean, you'll never hear promos again like an Austin, like a Rock, like a Foley, because it was so natural, it was so organic. You'll, you'll never hear promos like that again. They'll never be able to go off the script. They'll never be able to be the, an extension of themselves. They'll never be able to be themselves, Period. And what Jinder Mahal said is nothing compared to the, like I said, what, what managers used to say and how they used to get their wrestlers over and how they used to get an angle over and how they used to be popular and how they used to be consistent and how you could actually believe what the guys were saying. And you could believe a Muhammad Hassan. You could believe a Jinder Mahal. But then when the, the powers that be, when the media outlets and the news outlets change the perception, when they change the fact that us as wrestling fans try to not, you know, overlook things and we just take it as it is, but of course, they have to go out there and, you know, take something that was this tall and this small and make it into something huge and mighty. And it's absolutely ridiculous. I, I hope Jinder Mahal doesn't lose the title. I hope the WWE does not cancel Mahal's character. And, I, you know, once again, this would be sad because Jinder Mahal has developed. He's progressed. He's advanced. He's the WWE champion. He is at his absolute very best. Although I do, I do got to say that I think if they let him be himself and let him do his own promos... There'd be even more outlets. There'd be even more trouble. There'd be even more characterization. There'd be even more conflict. There'd be more troubles um, with, with Jinder Mahal. So it, maybe it's a good thing that Jinder Mahal isn't doing his own promos because he could get like the Iron Sheik like heat. You know, he could get like Bobby the Brain Heenan like heat. You know, he could get heels that were actually heels. When heels meant something, when promos meant something, when, when promos built up a story, when promos got you invested into what the superstars were doing and what they were realizing, recognizing, and the, the respect is out the window now. I mean, once again, WWE is a form of entertainment. It, it is a soap opera. It is wrestling. It is excellence. It is, it is everything it is. And when you take something and, you know, something that wasn't really even, I mean, maybe it was bad, but we've, we've heard a lot worse. We've seen a lot worse. And, and I'm talking about, you know, if you want to talk about going over the line, you got to look at the attitude. I mean, look at the storylines. I mean, I mean this, this is still within the realm of PG content, in my opinion. But that's just my opinion. So viewers and subscribers, your comments and your, your opinions. Do you think the WWE is going to go that extra step like they did with Muhammad Hassan and cancel the Jinder Mahal character, especially that he's the WWE champion? He's maximizing his performance. The guy has worked out. The guy has been in his back. The guy has come back from meteorocracy. A guy that has come back from, well... The complete unknown. A guy that used to be a job or a guy that used to be a joke has turned himself into the WWE champion. He has built up an empire for himself. And now due to a, 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 a lousy promo that probably wasn't from his mind. And, you know, if it were probably something that he came up with or something he did, once again, it probably would have blurred the line still. But whoever came up with this, I, I just hope Jinder Mahal doesn't. I mean, because, you know, like I said, 
you we know where this guy came from we know where he was at at one time and we know what he's doing right now and for that to cancel out for that to be done would be absolutely reprehensible and i, I just hope that the rumors and the speculation on, are online are not true that mahal is going to lose his title reign he's going to be stripped of the title or his character is going to be canceled or because once again the, the media and the news outlets are taking this and, and they're making it something totally not what it should be I, this and once again it's it was just something to get an angle it was off of a picture just to make fun of someone's face and i'm not the biggest nakamura fan I, i'm not I'll, 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 I, I hope mahal keeps his championship i hope mahal stays as a character in the wwe and i don't think mahal should be scrutinized and i don't think he should be um in trouble i, I don't think mahal should face the repercussions that could be coming his way soon um, from the WWE, or the WWE may have to change their opinion of Jinder Mahal, or they may have to, and here's the thing, Jinder Mahal could go a lot further, the mileage in Jinder Mahal could go a lot farther, but now they might water him down even more, Jinder Mahal, and this is at a time when Smackdown Live, their development and their characters and their roster depth is very, very lackluster, it is very poor, just like the attendance and ratings, and, you know, and I know around September, October, November, it's typically a downtime. There's not a lot of attendance. Ticket sales are down. Merchandise is down. Ratings are down. Everything is down. But you don't want to take down your main champion. You don't want to take down your top guy because you've got to realize and recognize everything that Jinder Mahal has done and what the WWE has done to get this guy back from nothing and make him absolutely the main guy, the main attraction, the face of SmackDown Live, the undisputed reigning WWE champion. And you're going to do that to Jinder Mahal. You could potentially cancel his character and the WWE is going to just lower themselves to listen to the media outlets and the news outlets and all the outrage come on once again if this was the Vince McMahon from the Attitude Era or the Ruthless Aggression Era the WWE would not cave in this easy the WWE would not be this sad and mad the WWE would not be this hurt over what was said if anything the promo from Iron Sheiks and McFoley's and Triple H's and Austin's and The Rock's and all those heels or faces Back when, once again, promos were delivered the right way, when they were eccentric, when they were electric, when they were off the charts, when they were intense. Even though I like Jinder Mahal, I, like I said, I think his promos could use work. But once again, I don't pin that all on Jinder Mahal because, once again, Jinder Mahal is scripted and they tell him, well, don't go over the line, don't walk that line. But even when they give him lines, they're still going to poke fun at him. They're still going to scrutinize him. They're still going to say that's repulsive. They're still going to say that's disgusting. Even though there's been way worse done in the world. Look look at what's going on around you in the world right now. J just take one good look and you're going to do something like this to Jinder Mahal. Does he really deserve something quite like that? I don't think so. Ladies and gentlemen, this makes me as a fan of WWE through the good and the bad through the slow and the ups the the hills the turns the slopes and everything the detours this as a fan makes me angry makes me this is not remarkable this is this is awful your comment tribute should the WWE go that extra mile like they did with Muhammad Hassan and cancel the Jinder Mahal character because of a promo when did you ever think you'd hear that the WWE would cancel a character off of a promo or an angle well, it happened in 2005, and ladies and gentlemen, viewers and subscribers, it looks like it's going to happen again in 2017. Yes, the subscriber shoutouts will return and make a comeback. I still got that major announcement to make. Share, subscribe, smash that bell. I know this video will get like five views because over 98% of you are not getting my videos, and that is a damn shame. But you know what? I said as long as I have one viewer and one subscriber, and that's exactly what it looks like I have nowadays, I'm going to keep doing this. I'm going to keep the flow. I'm going to keep the brewing. I am going to make sure that this lasts to be prolific, consistent, and dedicated because Sean's View Entertainment will make you realize that this is not going to be easy. It's And it's not going to be easy for Jindam Hall because how do you come back from a comeback, a setback like this? Well, what you do is you neutralize the media. You downplay the media because this is being overplayed. It's being outplayed now. It's 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 over dramatic. It's it's anticlimactic. And this Jinder Mahal Nakamura feud could be so so much better. I'm just saying. I mean, it could be so much better. There's some holes in it, but viewers and subscribers, once again, I just hope that Jinder Mahal is not going to be the guy that has to suffer because once again, Jinder Mahal is doing what any person would do at a job. He's going out there and doing what he's told to do and now he could, I, I mean, the guy, who, who knows, maybe he'll be fired, maybe he'll be released, maybe he'll get his pink papers. I, I, and I mean, we all know Jinder Mahal plays a character. We know he's a character. We know he's Canadian. Um, you know, but you know, the fans of India would not be happy. The, the fans of India would not be pleased with this at all. I'm not pleased with this. I mean, I'm Irish and French, but the bottom line is, once again, ladies and gentlemen, the reigning defending WWE champion could be in hot water, but only not because of the WWE, but because the WWE would be forcing their hand because of what the media and the outlets and the news are saying. So, once again, 
this this could get really involved, real heated, real quick. And I just hope that Jinder Mahal, once again, ladies and gentlemen, can overcome the detours and, and all the things that are being thrown his way and what, what media is saying. And why, why do they always have to pick on wrestling? Why, why do they always have to choose wrestling? Don't they see what else is going on in the fake news era? What's going on around the nation and the world? The, uh, the hypocrisies and the controversies, the conflict. It's a heck of a lot worse than what we're getting in the WWE right now. I'll tell you that. But that's just the brash one saying that. So more to come from Sean's View Entertainment. Share, subscribe, smash that bell. Later.